Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to install the Fujitsu FI7160 scanner. This is one of two scanners that PCC recommends for use with the PCC EHR. This particular model plugs directly into a workstation and uses the PaperStream software to determine where to send your scan jobs. Let's start by opening a web browser and searching for the Fujitsu FI7160 driver. When you get your list of search results, you may need to scroll down, but you're looking for the entry that says FI Series Software Downloads colon Fujitsu Global. Clicking that will bring you to an FI Series Software Downloads page. Here you'll pick the series of scanner, the specific model, and the operating system that you're using on your workstation. Once you've entered all of those, click the Display Software List button below. The next screen will bring you to the drivers and software available for this model scanner. We're going to start by clicking on the very top entry under Software, PaperStream IP, parentheses, Twain. That 2.10.3 may have changed by the time you're watching this, but as long as it's the PaperStream IP Twain driver, you should be set. Click the Download button, which will bring you to a new screen where you're going to have the option to download the program. Click the link under the red download text, which is going to be the name of the driver and the version number. You may be prompted to run or save the file. Let's save it for now is there's another file we need to download first. Click the back button on your browser to return to the previous screen with the drivers and software downloads. Here we're going to come down to the applications and select PaperStream Capture. Again, the version number might be changed, but as long as it's PaperStream Capture download, you're okay. Click download to the right, and before you're brought to another screen, a pop-up is going to ask for the serial number for the scanner. This can be found on the back of the device. Enter that and hit submit, and you'll be brought to another download page similar to the driver we installed previously. Once again, click the link underneath the red download text. If prompted, save this file as well. Now we're going to open a file explorer and go to your downloads. If you don't see the driver and paper stream software we just downloaded, you may need to change the sort order of your downloads list. During this installation process, it's crucial that the scanner not be plugged into the workstation, as it will prevent the driver from installing properly. We're going to start by double clicking on the PSIP Twain driver. You may be prompted to pick whether or not you want this application to allow changes to your computer. Hit yes. A black command box will open to start installing the driver. This process may take several minutes, so don't be alarmed if the screen stays black and doesn't show anything for a while like it does here. Once that's finished, it'll automatically open this PaperStream IP driver setup window. On the first screen, you're going to hit next. And on the next screen, make sure the PaperStream IP and Scanner Central admin boxes are checked off. They should be by default. Then hit next at the bottom. Finally, you'll be presented with an EULA, an end user license agreement. Feel free to scroll through that and then check off the I accept box at the bottom, then hit install. Now the driver will finish installing. This process may also take a few minutes depending on your workstation. Once finished, these three entries on the list will all have check marks to the left. The stop button at the bottom will change to close, which you can click. Next we're going to install the PaperStream software. Double click that on the downloads list. Another command box will open up to begin the install. Next, you'll be prompted to choose your language, hit OK, and then we'll have the initial setup steps. We're going to check off the I accept terms in the license agreement box at the top, switch from Pro to Basic, and then uncheck the display sample profiles and show Welcome on Startup. We recommend you don't check off the shorten the start time for a scan. It sounds enticing, but as you see when you check it off and get the warning message, scans will be delayed and interrupted if you have other programs running that are using the scanning device. For our purposes, that would be the EHR. It's best to leave that box unchecked. This model of Fujitsu scanner already does its job quickly, which is one of the reasons we recommend it. Once you have the user agreement checked off, you're switched to basic, and you've unchecked display sample profiles and show welcome on startup, you can hit install down at the bottom. Once the status bar above is full, it'll bring you to the final screen where you can hit finish, and then the software will run through some final configuration. Now that we have the driver and paper stream installed, we can plug in the scanner. If you have one available, it's recommended you plug the scanner into a USB 3.0 port. This will ensure the device runs as quickly as possible. The USB ports on your workstation may be marked with what version they are, or they'll be blue to indicate that they're a 3.0. Click on your Windows Start button, type in Printers. Open up the Devices and Printers program. Once you plug in the device and power it on, you'll see it show up underneath the Printers and Scanners list. Click it once and go to Manage. Under Manage, we're going to click Scanner Properties, which will open a new window. This Scanners and Cameras window may have several different devices listed but make sure you click once on the FI7160 and then click Properties below. This will open the properties specific to that device. We're going to go to the Events tab at the top. Under Events, we need to make sure the actions for this device is set to Start This Program PaperStream Capture. This means that when you press the physical scan button on the device, 
it's going to run PaperStream Capture and do what we tell it to later on. Otherwise, if you leave this option on prompt for which program to run, you'll be asked to choose which program you want to use every single time you hit the scan button. It's also best practice to select the events from the drop down above and ensure that the send to functions are also set to run PaperStream. This is necessary if you want the scanner to send jobs to different locations depending on which function you're running, which we'll demonstrate later on. Once you have all that set to run PaperStream, you can close all these windows. Now we're going to open up the PaperStream program either from the desktop icon or by clicking the Windows logo in the bottom left and typing in PaperStream. Now that the workstation knows what the scanner is and which program to run when you press the scan button, we need to tell the scan jobs where to go. This is done by creating profiles and assigning profiles to the different buttons on the scanner. Let's start with a PCC EHR profile. Click on the Create Document Profile or click the drop down menu up top here and select Configure Profiles. The next screen will display the different profiles available to edit, but we don't have any yet. Click on the plus sign above Modified Date. Here is where we will create our first profile. We only need to make changes on the left hand menu under steps 1, 2, and 3. For number 1, we're just going to assign a name. We'll call it PCC EHR. Next, we'll go to step 2, either by selecting from the list on the left or hitting Next down below. Here, the source is already determined as PaperStream knows to use the Fujitsu device. Here you can select a color mode if you want all your scans to be in black and white, all in color, or automatic. We're going to choose automatic for this example. We're going to set the resolution to 200 dpi, which is still high quality and legible, but will reduce the file size of these scans. You can also determine if you want this profile to scan duplex or simplex, but we're going to leave it as duplex for now. At the bottom for display options, we're going to pick release after scan and minimize during scan. This will ensure that when you hit the scan button, the pages just go through without asking you whether or not you want to save them. This will also minimize the paper stream program so you can go back to other programs while the scan is going through. We recommend you don't hit the exit app after scan button. This means the paper stream will need to reopen each time you scan, slowing down the process as a whole. Before moving to the next screen, we want to hit Save As under Scanner Driver Profile and also call this PCC EHR. Finally, we're going to go to Destination and change the file type from TIF to PDF. Then we're going to assign where we want these scans to go. The file path is always going to be backslash backslash, your practice acronym, backslash scanning, backslash bucket number. There are three numbers for each bucket, whether it's 000 for print to EHR, 001, 002, etc. If you're not sure which bucket number you want to use, jump into the EHR and go to Configuration at the top, then go to Documents. On the middle tab here, we have all the different bucket numbers in their assigned categories. Make note of the bucket number for the category you want, jump back to Paper Stream, and fill it in at the end here. Then hit Save at the bottom, and click OK on the little message that pops up. This is just indicating that we changed the file type from TIF to PDF. You'll be brought back to the Configure Profile screen where you can add any additional profiles that you want. For example, we'll add a PCC EHR simplex for single-sided scans. Some of our settings from the previous profile have remained, but we need to add a new name, change sides to simplex, change the display options to again release after scan and minimize app during scan, we're going to click Save As again up here and call this PCC EHR Simplex to match the profile name. And then finally go to the destination directory again and assign where we want these scans to go. You can send them to the same bucket as the other profile or to a different bucket. It's up to you. Then hit Save again and close. We're almost done, but we need to make sure PaperStream knows which profiles are assigned to which button. We're going to click the drop down menu again up here and go to Administrator Tool. Under Administrator Tool, we'll go to Usability on the left. Here we have an events list where we can assign different profiles to the different functions. For this example, we'll set the regular scan button to PCC EHR and send to function 1 as PCC EHR simplex. These different functions are picked when you use the arrow buttons on the scanner. By default, when you push the scan button, it's going to go to the scan profile. But if you press the up or down arrows on the scanner, you can get to these different functions and then hit the scan button. For one last example, we'll look at how to create a profile if you want to send these scans somewhere on your workstation rather than to the PCC EHR. We'll close the administration tool, click the menu at the top, and go back to configure profiles and hit the plus button. For this example, we'll use the name My Documents. Under Source, it may be easy to just use one of the PCC EHR profiles we created, or you can create your own. And for a destination, rather than going to a scanning bucket, we're just going to pick a location on the workstation. For this example, we'll send it to My Documents, which is going to be under the Hard Drive, Users, 
Joey documents. You can send these to your desktop, to a network folder, wherever you want them to go. Then hit save and close at the bottom. Just like with the PCC EHR profiles, you'll need to go to the administrator tool, usability, and assign which function you want this profile to go to. Now you're finally finished and can begin scanning. If you run into any issues or any of these instructions were unclear, please contact PCC support and ask for a member of the hardware team. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.